Assalamu alaikum to all the listeners. Welcome back in our today's session. Uh, my today's lecture is about past perfect continuous tense. Hope you all are fine. So let's begin our today's session, which is of past perfect continuous tense. So before going towards the definition of past perfect tense, past perfect continuous tense, uh, let uh, discuss each each term individually. The very first term is the past tense, which shows that yes, this is the past time. The second one is the perfect one, which shows that the action is completed, or let's say that is in, uh, that is completely done. And the third term which we have that is continuous, which shows that an action is in progress. I mean that is continuously doing by a person. So we have these uh, three terms basically. Okay, so let's have verb forms as well. With past tense, we always have second form of verb. And in this tense, we have had. And with perfect, we always have third form of verb, which is here we have been. And with the continuous, we always have fourth form of verb, or let's say this form plus ing. So we will have all these three uh, forms and the formula or let's say the structure of the past perfect continuous sentences So here we have perfect tense which we have already done we have continuous again We have done it as well now the additional thing in this tense or in this aspect is it emphasizes duration of time or exact point before something in past and for showing that time, we have two particular terms, for or since. And we have already done both the terms in our present perfect continuous sentences. That is, for we use for the duration of time. On the other hand, since is for the exact point, or let's say the particular time. Let's have some example. Um, whenever we have uh, three, if we say three days, so with three days, we always have four. We have to put four before three days. And whenever we have the exact point, like for example, 2012, or let's say in morning, if we use morning in our sentence, so we always have since before both the things. Let's have our next slide, which is having definition of past perfect continuous sentences. Here the definition is present. When an action was started in the past, and continued up to another point in the past. So here, the action which was started in the past and that is continuously doing by a person in the past or at the another point. So that action is in the past perfect continuous sentence. And that action could be stopped or continued. We have both the possibilities in this tense. For example, we have example here. The first one is children had been playing for two hours. So they were playing for two hours. And here we I used four. Why? Because I don't have any idea about those two hours. Whether those two hours uh, you know were in uh, were yesterday or day before yesterday or any other day. In our next sentence. Samra had been attending English language classes since 2019. So here, Samra had been attending English language classes since, why I use here since? Because we have the exact point, which is 2019. So from 2019, Samra had been attending English language classes. This is all about the definition of past perfect continuous sentences. All right, so we use this tense for any other, uh, another action as well. It helps us to tell the cause or effect of anything. For example, Ali gained weight because he had been overeating. So here is the reason that why Ali gained weight. And we use what? We use this type of tense. We use, we use past perfect continuous tense. In our next example, I have written, my mother scolded me because I had not been listening to her. 
So why? We have the reason why my mother is scolding me because I hadn't been listening to her. So in both the structures, in both the examples, we have cause or let's say effect of why that thing happened with us. Now here is the static words and why, why I use static words here because we are not allowed to put or to use any static or let's say this is the second name of the static words which is non-continuous words in past perfect continuous sentences or just take the continuous term. Non-continuous means we are not allowed to use in, uh, these types of words in any continuous sentence in which our action is continuously doing by us. For example, feeling, senses, thinking or any other thing which should state, not action. Here I have written some examples which are incorrect. For example, I had been tasting the Chinese dish. So this tasting here, what? It is actually static words. And we are not allowed to use this static word here. So I could use this sentence in the another way. I had tested the Chinese dish. In our next example, I have written, she had been agreeing with me. So this agreeing is actually a static word and we are not allowed to use this in continuous sentences. And here we have continuous term in the, the name of this tense, which is past perfect and we have continuous tense. In our third example, they had been wanting a cup of tea. Instead of saying this, she or he could say like, uh, they want a cup of tea. They really want a cup of tea. Okay. So in our last example, Salim had been liking the strawberry flavor and uh, in ice cream. So liking, had been liking, this is not the correct structure or let's say the sentence. Instead of saying this, we could say like I, uh, Salim really likes strawberry flavor in ice cream. So we are not allowed to use any static verb in continuous sentences. Or let's say whenever we have this term, which is continuous, we are not going to have any static words in those sentences. Here we have the structures or let's say the syntax of all four types of sentences. The first one is affirmative. In this we have subject and after subject we have head. Why head? Because the head is actually the second form of have or has. So here we have past. So this head shows that yes. Here we have past time. And after that we have been, which is actually the third form. And this shows that yes, here it is perfect. And after being, then we have fourth form, which shows that yes, here the work is continuously doing or in progress. And after that we have object. Next is the negative structure. In that structure we have just to put not uh, between both head or been. And after that, we have interrogative structure. Yes, definitely we have to put head at the initial point and with the capital first letter. And after that, we have she, been, fourth form of verb, object, and then plus question mark. And in negative plus interrogative structure, we have head, subject, not as it is negative sentence, been, fourth form of verb, and then with ob object with the question mark. This is the ending of our today's session. Let's, uh, let's have some task. Okay, so your task is to read the given story. Okay, that story will be on the next slide and answer the given questions. So here I have uh, given you five questions and those five, these five questions are based on the given story which will be present on the uh, uh, next slide. So the first one is, where was Lisa? The second is, what did she do? Third one, what had she been doing? Fourth one, why was Lisa's mother tensed? The fifth is, what had the doctor been doing since the sickness arrived?
here is the story. So you are supposed to read the whole story and write the answer of the given questions. This is all about our today's session, which was about past perfect continuous sentences. And we will meet in our next session, which will be about future indefinite. So till then, Allah Hafiz, take care.